Hey, y'all. Uh, good morning. Hey, you guys did great yesterday. Uh, many of you, and I, I love what you guys turned in. It wasn't until I was seeing what you turned in that I realized, like, I totally dropped the ball. Um, when you're teaching somebody how to write, the first thing that you do isn't just hand them a pencil. You have them copy something that you wrote first, so that way they can learn. Guys, that's my mistake, but uh, let it be <laughs> let it be a... a wonderful lesson to you that you never stop learning new things. So um, yeah, it's every year I get better as a teacher. And this is one example of I, I definitely could have done better yesterday. So today I'm going to try to make up for it. You guys are going to uh, write another riff. But the difference is, is that uh, this time the riff that you write is not going to be one that uh, you make up. Although I saw some awesome ones yesterday. Uh, they were brand new. So you guys are going to just um, there's a job in music called a music copyist. Uh, literally a person who takes all of somebody's ideas. So like a uh, Hans Zimmer or John Williams, somebody from like a, a movie soundtrack guy and copies all the parts for all the different kinds of instruments to make sure that it makes sense for everybody. Today, you guys are going to be doing like the, the, the baby version of that. All right, here's what's going to happen. Go to sound slice. You guys created an account yesterday. Go here to New Slice, uh, and I want you guys to name it Crazy Train, put a hyphen, and then whatever your, your name is. So Crazy Train Anderson. Anderson, there you go. Okay. There you go. Start in our editor. It'll be easier for you guys if you actually do this exercise with the video going, so that way we can go step by step, okay? Add instrument, we're gonna be guitar. All right. Step one, over here, click on the eighth note, this little guy, the one with the flag. Click on it, boom. Now you're drawing in all eighth notes. Now, here on the sixth string, click and that puts your cursor there. We're gonna write out the riff for Crazy Train. It starts out with a couple of twos. Then it goes to, I think, a couple of fours. Da da dum. Two. Yeah. Da 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 dum da dum da dum. You can also, if you get stuck, you can always like rewind it and listen to it. Make sure you're doing it right. You're like, okay, sounds pretty good. Last part is this. Oops, let's see. Okay. Let's give it a listen, make sure it sounds right. Sounds good to me. But the problem is the Crazy Train intro is longer than that. So I'm going to hit Shift and the arrow key to highlight this. Um, on my computer, it's Command V. However, it is that you copy it, or sorry, Command C. Command C to copy. I'm going to arrow over just one bar and hit Command V to paste. Boom. That looks like an intro to me. That's it. Cool. That's what I want you to do today. I want you to write out the intro for Crazy Train. Make sure that your name, Crazy Train, and then whatever your name is. So it'll say Crazy Train Paul, or Crazy Train Stephanie, or Crazy Train Jacob, or Crazy Train Kaylee, whatever. Okay? Once you've finished this, I want you to just take a screenshot of the whole thing. So I want you to screenshot. Make sure that you include this Crazy Train uh, Joe Bob or whatever, and all this, and then turn that screenshot in. That's what I want. That's the assignment. The bonus part of the assignment, uh, the fun part is grab a guitar and sit down and just play it. If you've never played Crazy Train before, it's it's actually it's a pr pretty fun song. Um, and it's definitely one that belongs in the kind of the uh, uh, the history of cool guitar licks or whatever. It's it, that this one's definitely a Hall of Fame one, in my opinion. OK, so write out Crazy Train, put your name in the top left corner and then uh, screenshot it, grab guitar, and play it. That's your assignment for the day. Cool. Love you guys. Miss you guys. I uh, hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks.